Good evening campers, welcome back to the Brew House. Uh, just a short video Monday night. Um, on Saturday, I got a little something in the post. The uh, continuing love in for my channel uh, knows no uh, stopping. And my first example of beer mail arrived. This is uh, totally new for me, I'm very touched by it. And uh, thank you to Dave from Cheshire Homebrew. Uh, this video is just a little unboxing to show you what I got. So I've already opened it, but I've got, uh, you know, ready and available tools to break into it and show you a little bit more. Uh, let's have a little look, see what's in the box. So first things first, got a quick note from the man himself. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of beers in here. Uh, there's a wheat, Wilco Wheat Beer Kit, uh, and RAS. Ooh. Russian Imperial Stout, which will be ready for Christmas. So that one I've got to sit on. Um, and the, yeah, it goes on to say Christian, as in Brew Bear will be reviewing in his challenge. Uh, although the wheat beer is ready now. I won't be trying this tonight. It's still in the box. I haven't done anything with it. So it needs a couple of days, sat in its upright position at the appropriate temperature. So I think that's gonna be a little homebrew Wednesday affair maybe this week. Uh, I'll get onto that a little bit later, but let's have a little look though, see what he sent me. So, uh, packaging, uh, so we've got a couple of beer mats. I think this is a brewery local to, uh, yeah, local to where Dave's from in Cheshire. Uh, and then, what's this one? Uh, Legendary Unicorn Premium Ale with Red Tractor Accreditation. Cool. So that's that one. Always useful. Uh, in good time when you know I've moved somewhere that I can have bar area and you know a bit more of a kind of man cave facility. I like that man facility. Yeah, mm, I don't know, maybe not. But um, yeah, that, they, these will come in handy definitely. Thank you very much, Dave. Um, okay, so down to the uh, nuts and bolts. Have a little look at what is in here. So these are well wrapped. Uh, right, yeah, this is where. I uh, have to try and not chop my fingers off. So, be careful, I don't want to take any labels off or anything if he's put any, any effort into those. Wouldn't want to destroy his good hard work, but uh, we'll see. God dear, this is a a window into the future knowing that this is what I've got to do when I send my beers out in a few weeks time. Uh, I keep saying few weeks, I'm really sorry. The, 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 for those who have due to receive the stout's ready, the cider's ready, um, I'm meant to be bottling the uh, pale ale tonight but I've, um, well it's just not happening tonight, I'll put it that way. I've run out of a couple of bits that are completely necessary for me to do it because when I do it I want to keg it the rest at the same time and I've run out of um, the stuff I sterilise my keg with my OxyClean, so I'll be down wheel goes tomorrow to uh, get a bit more of that. And uh, at that point, I'll be doing it tomorrow night, I imagine. So, so this looks, oh, this, is right. this is the wheat there, I think. So, pet bowl, wow, that is firm as you like. That is well carved, I think. So, let's bring it in for a little extreme close up. There we go. So, what have we got here, Wilco wheat beer. Uh, by Cheshire Homebrew, bottled on the 15th of September, hence why it's as, uh, you know, carved as it clearly is. <laughs> 7.6 ABV for a wheat beer. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know anything about this, so I presume, based on the ABV, this must have been um, pimped. I can't see Wilco selling a great big wheat beer like that, but you never know. Um, Dave, let me know, PM me, or, or, or in the comments, let me know what you did with this, be really curious. Okay, so that is Wednesday's little drinky poos unveiled. Now this can only be the uh, Russian Imperial. Let's get in. Without carving myself up too badly. So far, so good. I think, for obvious reasons, because this one has got to be sat on. 
Uh, it's in a glass bottle. I know Dave advocates the use of pet bottles for short-term purposes and uh, just for you know getting beer mails out of there and that kind of thing. Totally with him on that. Albeit I've been well lazy and my bottling has all been pet bottles for a while now. Um, but uh, rightly so, this one is in a glass bottle. A bit of a dog's dinner of getting into this. Okay, that's there. Here we go. Crown cap coming off the top there. So I'm seeing a theme in the labels here. Beast of the East. Sounds like an old wrestler or yeah, something. So, the video running, I think, camera failed and lost footage and stuff. So, all I wanted to say was another thank you to Dave. Um, have a great start to your week. Uh, you know. It's Monday. It's over. We're on. We're into the the guts of the thing now. So um, have a good one, guys. Uh, apologies for the ball of light over my shoulder as well. That's just. Oh, it's all gone to shit. Um, see you on Wednesday. Bye. It might seem